Okay, here's the house on Elgin. It is located pretty well, not too far from your other properties. Um, about two blocks down there is the Main Street, 10th Avenue, um, that goes to the freeway. It's quite near the uh, one of the alternative high schools, so there are some ball fields and things that are close by. Some trailers across the street. Some newer apartments, Kitty Corner, down there. Commercial hair salon across the street. And another trailer here. So it's kind of a mixed bag neighborhood, but not bad. Um, the yard still has some green. I don't see any trees laying on the house. That's a good thing. Long driveway, so there's lots of off-street parking. Appears to have vinyl siding. And the roof appears to have a few missing shingles, but uh, doesn't look like it's peeling badly. This looks like it. it's a parking area, concrete parking area. Sure looks like it would be easily set up for a carport or something like that. Don't know what this metal or this concrete square area is. Um, you could probably set up a dog run or kennel or fencing or there or something. Here's a gas meter here. The This wooden area under the window appears to be a little bit bowed. Not sure why, but appears to have vinyl windows throughout. This does open onto the alley back here. Technically, you could park off street back here as well. So again, here's the alley. There's a section of fence here that's removed. Here's the back of the house. Looks like a few more shingles missing up there at the peak of the house. It's not a very big roof though. And then this is looking at the school at the end of the block. And then some more commercial across the way on the next street over. Probably only two or three minutes away from some of uh, your property, for example, over on Galveston. On the other side of 10th Avenue South. Or 10th Avenue, excuse me. Just 10th Avenue. Okay, again, the long driveway here. And a pretty good sized front yard. Okay. Take a quick peek over here on the other side. Here's the side yard. inside. Power is off, so I'll do the best I can with the light that I have. Nice tile here at the entryway. Living room here, and again it appears the windows have all been replaced. Window wall unit, air conditioner. I imagine they probably had a dining room table here on this wall, but I'm not positive. Kitchen is straight ahead. Looks like the cabinets could use to be repainted, but does not have popcorn ceiling or anything like that. So that's good. The vinyl in here, of course, needs to be replaced. To the left here, we have a bedroom. Flooring has been removed. It does have a vinyl window. And it has duct work, which makes me believe it has a forced air system, heating system of some kind, but I have not seen the furnace. Could be in the crawl space. Let's look in here and see. Just a regular closet here. Coming through the kitchen, 
to the other side of the home. Two bedrooms and one bath. There's a slight step up here into this one bedroom. And this is the one that has a sliding glass door that we saw from the backyard. It's vinyl. This property is owned by Fannie Mae. So it is a bank owned property. There's the water heater. It has just gone into investor status uh, just a couple days ago. So it appears to be available 